Hey everybody. Well, it's about 12 o'clock here in uh, Ohio. I was up until 5 in the morning last night on Facebook with uh, Michael, a.k.a. Nugget Noggin. Uh, created a group, Nugget Noggins AT Pro Team. Uh, you have to get on uh, Facebook and check it out. If you got an AT Pro, uh, join the team. Uh, I got like five places I'm going to hit today. Right now I'm at a uh, old park. Uh, the park is actually the park itself has been here for I think since the 20s. But uh, before that it was like a circus, like a like a carnival circus deal. And uh, since then it's moved on, and now they got gazebos and swing sets and pl kids play play area baseball fences diamonds stuff like that so uh... i'm gonna hit it see if i can't find any silver so i'll get back with hey it. hey guys this is my third or fourth hole and i just dug my first spoon it's a little bent uh... first i thought it was a sterling silver spoon but it's not it's stainless stainless steel and it's got an initial on the Bottom, I ain't for sure what it what it is, but stainless sure comes out of the ground nice. So that's my first spoon. So that's awesome. I'm here at this old park. There's a nice old tree there. I'm going to hit. So that's a great find to start the day. Well, I had a signal there that I was getting an iron signal and I was getting a nice 64 tone, 65, and I knew there was something hidden in there, so I went ahead and dug it. Ended up getting a nail, and I believe it's a weedy. It's so, so dirty, I can't tell. I ain't gonna rub it too much, but not doing too bad at this park. And we'll give it a little bit longer and then probably move to my next next location. Alright, I'm I'm out here at this park still. I'm about re I'm about done out here. The wind's picking up, I'm gonna have to get back to the house and get a little bit warmer clothes on. Uh, I'm working along this batting fence. Or no, I'll take it back. I'm over here by the basketball court. I get this real, real faint signal. I switched to Coin Pro. Uh, for so much I was digging so much trash. Um, anyway, I got this signal, and uh, it was real faint, so I knew it was deep, nine inches. I dug down in there, you can see, um, depth of the pro pointer, and I dig up his dime. I'm thinking, yeah, dime, nine inches, I got silver. It's a freaking 1984. How in the heck did a 1984 get 9 inches? The only th thing I can figure is maybe this was fill dirt over here. But, disappointing. Oh well. Okay, well I've left the park and I've come to another location that I've hunted quite a few times. I've only been here about three or four times with the AT Pro, so, but I've never hunted this area back here. Uh, last year, I believe, it, it's been a while since I've been to this, this part of the park. Uh, might have been a couple years ago when I had my uh, H350. I found a lot of wheat pennies in this area. It's actually an old swimming pool. You can actually still see the foundation of the pools, but they filled it in with dirt. Uh, but like out here where people would lay down and stuff, I found a lot of wheat pennies. I've never found any silver here, so uh, I'm going to hit it with the AT Pro and see what I can't come up with. This is what we're looking at. That's the old uh, pool building. I imagine that's where all the pumps and stuff were for the pool. And the concession stand was right over there. Uh... Right out here is where the pool was. I don't know if I can zoom in and where you can see it. Yeah, right there you can see the actual foundation or the edge of the pool where it would have been. 
that's a pretty big pool. So I'm going to try to hit all this up through here around these pine trees and then right up around that wooded area there. So hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully I can find something good. Alright, here we are at another site. Uh, I moved from the from the swimming pool down to park down the river from my house. Uh, I must have hit it pretty good with the Ace 350 because I dug a little bit of trash and I found a modern clad quarter and two modern clad pennies. So uh, no luck with silver there. I'm at a this is a very old park. It dates back into the early or the late 1800s, uh, it used to be like a hospital, like a mental hospital, I believe is what it was, was here. Uh, there's a lot of land here. I'm not going to say what park it is because then that might uh, ruin my chances of getting some good silver stuff out of here if other detectives start coming in here. So I'm not going to quite give the park away yet until I hunt it good. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, very big park. So... Hopefully I can come up with something. This is the first time I've been out all day detecting, so I'm having a blast even though I'm by myself. Uh, so let's see what I can come up with. I'm here in Ohio, so the weather goes from 70 degrees to snowing in two hours. It's just Ohio weather's not fun. Okay, let's see what we can find. Got a nice penny signal here, so. I need to come up with some kind of tripod system. That way you guys can, that way I can get a good live dig on here. Oh, now it's in the hole. Alright, what the heck? Yep, it's in the hole now. There we go. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, uh, let's see. Kind of dirty. Uh, Stinking Lincoln, I believe. Can't tell. Yep, Stinking Lincoln. First hole, copper penny, and ain't too bad, I guess.
I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a decent signal. We'll go ahead and dig this. Alright guys, bear with me. We're going to try to do a live dig here. See if I can pull it off. Oh no! No! Oh, that ain't it. Oh, where are you at? Ah! Uh, pop top. Pull tab. He's getting a signal down in the hole too, though. Let's see what that is. right in here. I'll butcher this hole. Okay, whatever it is, it's in here. There we go. Got a coin. <sighs> ah, stinking lankin. Oh well. I guess live digs don't work for me either, Dan. Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm out here pretty much in the open part of this lot. I haven't had no signals. I'm like right here in the middle of this lot. I got a nice signal. This is about eight inches down, so we're going to dig this. We are totally going to dig this. See what we got. Let me uh, cut the plug here, and then uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, I got the plug cut. It's over that way, so. See what we got. All right, I must have been off just a little bit when I dug the hole. Oh, there it is. Let's see what it is. Come on, be a weedy. Uh, man, I'm not having no luck today at all. A stainless spoon is pretty much my best find today. It's just another copper. Dang it. No luck, no luck. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm still getting a signal in the hole here. Oh, come on. Pinpointer. Okay, that must have been it. Must be, must be an iron signal. It's chattering. 
All right. Well, better luck next time. Well, I'm out here in this wooded area here. I've been out here for about half an hour. Done a couple pull tabs, a couple old shotgun shells with actually, instead of the plastic sleeve, they were actually paper. There was a little bit of paper left in them. Uh, uh, here's what I just dug. Half of a horseshoe. As you can see, I'm out here in this woods off the beaten path. But that's a pretty nice find, half of a horseshoe. That's the first time I've dug a horseshoe, so that's cool. So that's twice for me today. I've dug a spoon and a ho half a horseshoe. So, uh, I'm about ready to call it a day. I've been out about six hours. Uh, the weather's turning real crappy. It's getting pretty cold and windy. So, about another 15 minutes, I'll be done. Well, guys. Last hole of the day, I really ain't got much of a choice. I've got one bar left on the batteries in the AT Pro, so. Uh, I had a pretty decent signal, I dug it. Uh, thought I had a weedy, but what, what do you know? I'm gonna finish the day off with a Canadian penny. One cent Canadian penny. But I ain't got much of a choice. I didn't bring batteries with me, and the batteries were and the AT Pro are about dead. There's my truck way over there. So, uh, that was an interesting day. No silver, but at least I got to get out, especially in this Ohio weather. It was 55 when I started, now it's like 35, so Ohio weather's ridiculous. But I'll get back to the truck. Dump out on my find, show you guys what I found today. All right, back to the truck. I'll show you what I found for the day. I've already threw, threw out one pouch full of trash. This is the trash I got from this spot. I don't throw anything back in the ground, so it's just a bunch of uh, cream soda. Was it Jim? Jim cream soda. Just a bunch of. Tin cans, pop cans, got a couple old cans in there. Uh, I think this is half of a bolt split. I got two rusty nails, no square nails. I got this here. It's, uh, I think it's one of like the rivets to a tent or something. Uh, old lag bolt with the washer still on it. Half a horseshoe. <sighs> Modern pull tabs. This is probably my best find of the day. Stainless spoon. This is actually a nice stainless spoon. This ain't one of the cheap ones that you get nowadays. Uh, it's got a letter on the end of it. But that's nice, that'll go in my collection. There for a second while I dug this, I thought it was a round ball, but uh, I don't think it is. It's lead for sure, I just don't know what it is. Um, got two dimes, it's clad pennies, a couple coppers in there, uh, two state quarters, 12 gauge shell, and then I got these three old, these are the paper style shot shells, these are old, I'm going to clean them up, I'm going to keep them, I mean, so they still got a little bit of paper attached to them, not much, but there's a little bit there. So I'm gonna clean them up. And keep I'm gonna keep them. So I've never found them before. That was kind of cool. I found three of them. So that's pretty much my finds for the day. I dug a lot of holes and I threw already threw away a lot of trash, but that's the way it goes. So. Uh, 